I want to take a couple of minutes to thank my friend Zach for this old 1920s, early 1930s Slingerland banjo. I come across Slingerland made banjos by under different brands and Slingerland brand as well from time to time. They're not uncommon sights, but they're almost exclusively tenors. This is one of only a few five strings I've seen, and this is one of the nicer ones. It is not a high-end banjo, but it has a lot of nice things about it. It has pretty nice inlays on the headstock, and even though the fretboard looks fairly plain, Jane, it has these little diamond square inlays for the fret position markers. Zach has this strung up with nylon, and with a bridge with no cap, which I like for nylon strings. Um, the only things I've done other than putting the strap on is I put this old wire armrest on. I also changed out the tuners to this. I mentioned that this is a nicer Slingerland. I had one earlier in this year of somebody else's and I just didn't feel like it was a, a playable instrument. This one, the hardware is a little better. It's got the flat cobra hooks going into a groove stretcher band which is a lot thicker and the really thin, almost sheet metal ones that I've come across in some models. It's got hex bolts here. And even the pot has a little bit of a bird's eye maple to it. It's almost certainly a veneer. The pot is laid to a point. It doesn't have a tone ring or a tone hoop, but because I had one laying around, I put this Grover one in here. Here's a, get in a little close there for those of you who never come across one of these. What's nice about these isn't just that you can essentially have an arch top. Some people don't think they do much of anything good, but the nice thing is really, really, these two thumb screws here enable you to adjust the tension on the old hide head here. So when it's dry out, you can roll these thumb screws back and kind of keep a, more of an ideal tension on the head so that it doesn't pop. When it gets wet out, you can tighten those back up. So that's all I did. I, I put these tuners up here so that the buttons would match the original fifth string, friction button there. I put this on. Those are the only meaningful things I did. This is a really fun banjo. Like I said, it's just a, it's just a nice banjo and it's fun. It's about 10 and 3 quarters inches diameter, maybe 10 and 7 eighths. It's under 11. fun banjo here. So, old 1920s, early 1930s, Slingerland five string banjo.